Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and the title of this video, as you may have read, is Everything You Know About Dragors Is A Lie. And you might be wondering, what is that supposed to mean? I thought Dragors were awesome. Well, yeah, you thought that. Um, I'm here to attempt to change your mind a little bit, uh, not because I want to prove people wrong, but more because um, I have found a method for slaying, at least. This is not a guide for people who like to boss. This is more for people who like to go for Slayer XP or are going for 99 Slayer like me. Um, that Drygores are, in most cases, not the weapon that you should be using. Um, now, I have been doing extensive testing ever since the Evolution of Combat, well, a few months after the Evolution of Combat came out, I have done a ton of tests with, like, Slayer XP rates and stuff, and as of today, ever since getting my comp cape, I am starting up an entire new uh, test to prove this once and for all. Um, what exactly is the best weapon for every single task? So, for example, right now my task is Dark Beast. And you might be saying, oh, it's Dragorscape, Dragor them. But no, Dragors are actually the worst out of the three combat styles of this certain monster. Um, and you might be saying, oh, you have Ascension Crossbows and they're weak to range. Range them. Even though that would make sense, um, the weakness only affects accuracy, not damage. And uh, since Chaotic Staff has 100% accuracy while using Tormoil and Extreme Magics with the Slayer Helm bonus, um, Chaotic Staff is actually the best weapon to use here. And you, another thing a lot of people might say is um, Chaotic Staff isn't Virtus One and Book better. Uh, for PVM situations, Virtus One and Book actually is the better weapon. However, for uh, not all, but almost all Slayer monsters, they have lower health points. There's a few monsters that are different, like automatons, for example, um, have higher life points, and Virtus One and Book is better at them. But for most Slayer monsters, Chaotic Staff is actually better because uh, you kill them in like three or four hits anyway. Um, so that means that the concentrated blast from the Chaotic Staff doesn't have as much of a powerful effect because you kill them so fast. Oftentimes, like the third hit of your concentrated blast won't even hit because the monster's already dead. And the Chaotic Staff has a higher first hit damage. That means I'll just show you what I mean really fast. Whenever you attack a monster, even if you spam abilities, your character will always do one auto attack first before he uses any abilities. And um, that atta auto attack while you're using a Chaotic Staff is usually 1,000 plus. And when you're using Virtus Wanted Book, it's usually like 300 or 400. Um, and that might not seem like a lot, but when you're fighting monsters with really low HP, like Slayer monsters, that's often like one-sixth of their HP gone before you even use any abilities at all. And that is why Chaotic Staff is better for Slayer. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys my spreadsheet now. I have never really shown this before. I showed a sneak peek of it a long time ago before it was finished. Um, and the original one is now finished, but is also now invalid because most of these tests were done with Drago weapons, so I'm going to have to do this all again. Um, but this is all the XP rates for all these monsters. Um, I tested most of the monsters. I think every task that Curdle assigns, except for six of them, is on here. Um, and this is the XP rates for the Slayer XP per hour, Combat, HP, Summoning XP per hour, and that's judged by the charms you get if you have 99 Summoning, you're making the best pouches you can and the total XP per hour. And out of all of these, uh, Water Fiends is the best task for XP. Um, keep in mind that none of these are with cannon, so just keep that in mind. I do not use Cannon Wall Slayer because I feel like it's a huge waste of money. Uh, some people may be beg to defer that, but uh, I don't exactly have limitless money. Um, so Water Fiends are the best XP tasks that Curadel assigns, at least with Dragors. Well, well, with using Dragors and pretty much everything, um, Dark Beast being the second best, Eretz being the third best, Abbey Demons being the fourth best, Skeletal Wyverns being the fifth best, which may come to a lot of people's surprise, but they are actually excellent, excellent XP. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this all again, testing out today, and in my estimation I'll probably be confirming that in most cases Chaotic Staff will be the best weapon. So the only one that I've tested out so far today is Dark Beast. I'm doing a bit more simplified version. I'm not testing the hit points XP per hour or the summoning XP per hour. I'm just testing Combat and Slayer because that's a lot easier to track. It takes a lot less time. Um, so, so far for Dark Beast, uh, Magic is by far the best at 155k Slayer XP per hour. Range is 151k, that is with Ascensions. And Melee is 143k, and that is with Dragors. Um, and of course the Magic is with Chaotic Staff. So if you had Seismics and you are slain with those, um, Dark Beast might even be upwards of 160k XP per hour. I have never tried Seismics, so I don't know um, for sure about that. But anyway, I will be testing all these tasks. 
Um, I will also be making a block uh, skip ban list, but if you really desperately needed a really quick um, guide on what tasks you should always do, which you should skip, and which are optional, um, this is the block list right here. Aberrant Spectres, Aquanites, Bloodvelds, Desert Strikeworms, Dust Devils, Fire Giants, Griffola Roos, Grotworms, Hellhounds, Jungle Strikeworms, Living Rock Creatures, Spiritual Mages, Sakwas, Terror Dogs, Firewatch, Warp Tortoises. Don't do any of those. Um, disclaimer, Spiritual Mages and... Um, Grifola Roos are both 90k slayer an hour or more, um, depending on what weapons you're using and what your stats are, of course. But I choose not to do either of those because they're just really annoying. But I do have a ton of slayer points, and not everyone has a ton. So if you if you have to do any of these tasks, do Desert Strike Worms, do Grifola Roos, and do Spiritual Mages because those are all 90k an hour. Desert Strike Worms are like 85k slayer an hour. Um, the cash tasks are Ascension members, AVNCs at Armadil. Black Dragons at Queen Black Dragon, uh, Blue Dragons, slight typo there, um, Dagonoths at the Dagonoth Kings, and Graders at Zamrak. Um, Ascension members and Blue Dragons are really terrible XP, but the other four tasks are actually QBD is pretty terrible XP too, but AVNCs, DKs, and uh, Zami are pretty darn good Slayer XP per hour. Um, but you, those are just like optional tasks, you can do them for the money if you'd like. Um, I do all these for the money except for Zami, just because I find Zami really boring, because I've done a ton of Zami tasks without a drop, and I got frustrated with them. And these are all the tasks, pretty much everything else that Curdell signs you should do. Um, everything on here is 100,000 Slayer XP an hour or more, except for um, Iron Dragons and Mutated Jadinkos. Mutated Jadinkos are 90k an hour, with melee at least, and Iron Dragons are 85k an hour. Um, but I just really enjoy both of those tasks, and also they're both very good combat XP tasks, and uh, Iron Dragons at least are good charms, so that's why I choose to do those, and I think that they're worth doing. But everything else on this list is 100k an hour or more Slayer, so it's all very good XP per Oh yeah, Fight Cauldron is not 100k Slayer an hour, but it is insane combat XP. It's like 600k uh, defense XP per hour, so that one is obviously worth doing. Uh, fight Cauldron, not Fight Kill. But anyway... Um, I'm sorry I rambled on for so long, but uh, hopefully you found some of this stuff interesting, and I definitely will be making more videos testing out XP rates and stuff. Um, sorry I didn't really go too much into the actual explain why Drygors are, uh, in most cases, not the best weapon to use for Slayer, um, but I will go into that more in the future, and I will be doing more tests, and hopefully slowly but surely, with your guys' help, I can start to change people's opinions on Drygors, because... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I get really frustrated when uh, people just say, Drygore everything, it's the best way to slay, because it's not. Um, obviously, I will have to Drygore eventually, because if I just mage everything, I will get 200 mil defense and 200 mil magic before I'll get 200 mil slayer. So, obviously, I can't mage every task, just because that would be a huge XP waste. Um, but I definitely will be maging as much as possible. Um, I, definitely on the tasks where magic is clearly better than melee, um, like Dark Beast, for example. I might actually range tasks like this just for range XP, but anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, hopefully it helped. Hopefully you're looking forward to uh, when I complete this flowchart, and I'll um, give you guys a link to it, and uh, that should be pretty helpful for all you, all you Slayer XP guys out there. So, yeah, farewell.